So this video is supposed to be a kind of weekend in the writer life. I am working on my edits for my book, Some Kind of Criminal, still fucking still. I know I just swore at the beginning of the video. I don't know if YouTube likes that, but whatever. And I'm trying to power through them at the same time. I am my last weekend in Budapest. Um, and I'm flying back to Toronto on Monday, so I have some fun activities planned. So there's going to be some writing, there's going to be some Budapest stuff, because Budapest is gorgeous, and it's going to be really fun. So right now I just woke up. We had a night last night. We were out till 4 in the morning. It's now just after 11, so I'm going to go shower and then try to do a bit of editing before I go to an escape room, which was probably planned too early in the day. It's at 1 p.m. I don't know how this is gonna happen, but. Good morning, all right, we're up. We're dressed, we're walking down the street. We're gonna go get a croissant. So that's very exciting. My escape room was canceled because predictably, the people who were going to do it with me were sleepy. Oh, they don't wanna get up because we were up till four, so. We're gonna go get a croissant and then figure out do some editing, I think. Okay, so I got dinner, breakfast, not dinner, and I totally forgot to take a video of it, but I got a toast, cheese, and salami sandwich, and an M&M and &M peanut butter cookie, and then this chocolate caramel tartare thing. I didn't actually eat most of it. Um, I like just nibbled it and tried it and then put it away, so. We are now doing the writing thing. Ba -ba -da. <laughs> um, so I am on chapter 34 out of 50, and I have my notes written down on what I need to fix in chapter 34. So consider cutting Sibby. What the heck does that say? Oh, okay, sure. So I have a bunch of, it sounds like uh, positioning type things to do here. So what they're doing in this scene is they are breaking into a museum from the river. Because why break into a museum from the road when you can break into it from the river, right? And I have them like kind of going under this deck and it doesn't really make sense. So I have that. Uh, I have something I just have to add in about believability around the cameras. And then I think I just have a few bits of dialogue to change. And then this page, haha, <laughs> there's no edits at all. So this hopefully shouldn't take me too, too, too long. And then I have, this, is, this should be a good little package here. All right, so I'm gonna pull it up on my computer. I'm using Novelpad, I started using Novelpad a year or two ago and it is a game changer. I love it um, because of the fact that I'm about to just go in and say create revision, which I love. All right, so we're going to create revision. Perfect. And then it gives me two copies and so I'm going to go and edit in the master doc right now. All right, so I thought you said we were going in the museum. Um, is that the best line? It is, mm. this, this is when I'm like, oh, I don't know. Okay, so the Medici residence turned music library outside Padua at 3 a.m. Um, hmm. I don't know if I should literally say water because we actually don't know that they're on the water until like the fourth paragraph of this chapter. So that seems like from a reader orientation standpoint, not great. Um, maybe something like, she just mentions a canoe in the last line. They have like, what well, them and water is like a thing, you know, the main character, Lena, and then the heist crew mastermind Maisie. So let me change that and just say, um, I don't know, this is like too canoe-like for my liking or something. 
Oh, wait, I do actually say we were laying flat side by side on the bottom of a dinghy in the Rivera River. I need to change that. <laughs> Who came up with Rivera River? I did. <laughs> um, I don't even know if they're in the river. Maybe they're like on the pond. No, it has to be the river. Okay. Wait, it's such that... Does it make sense to have a window that's level with a river? A basement window? Does that work in construction terms? I actually don't know. Then it would literally be in the river. No, like legitimately buildings on rivers? I don't know. No, babe, it's just showing me literally things that are like, there's like a sidewalk and then there's a building. That is not what I want. Okay, here we go. It's a mill, but it'll do. There is like, it's basically that's where land is. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this picture. That makes sense. And there's a bridge. Perfect. We're adopting the bridge. This is what it looks like. I'm going to save it for all posterity. And this is the music museum or whatever it's called. I'm actually going to a music museum later if everything goes well. Um, some kind of criminal save. It's back doors at the base of a bridge of an old stone bridge. We rode, rode, R-O-W-E-D. We rode into the shadows under the bridge. And Maisie tied the boat to the corner. Sure. Does that make sense? Can I like picture that? It's a dinghy and Maisie tied the dinghy to the corner. And the Maisie tied the dinghy to an old nail. Maisie tied dinghy, dinghy to a nails don't rot, they tarnish, they oxidize, they, what's the word? Rusted nail. A rusted nail. We rode into the shadows under the bridge and Maisie tied the dinghy to a rusted nail.